Well, when it comes to medical care, you want nothing but the best for you and your loved ones. I'm laughing because the NFL guy and I, he's a middle linebacker, I play QB, so we're, we're rubbing each other We're here tackling a bit. Chris Berg later. <laughs> the Colma <laughs> Rehab tackling. Hospital is going to open in early 2018. Here to tell us more about it are Richard Fisk, Carissa Olson, and former NFL player, I will say middle linebacker as well, Steve Toll. To all three of you, thank you so much thank for being so here. Thank you. Uh, let's start with what, what is this whole program about, Richard? Well, let me tell you a little bit about Cobalt Rehabilitation Hospitals. I've been in the healthcare industry all my life, and I've always thought we were doing physical rehabilitation totally wrong. The patients are not, in doing rehab, are not sick. They're broken, and our job is to get them mended and back into society. What we've done in the past, we put them in big hospitals. They have a rehab unit there. The hospital is full of people that are sick, and the chances are when you come out, you'll be sicker than when you went in. So we, we designed our hospitals based on the fact that we are, we are transforming rehabilitation into something really new, and that is treating the patient right so that they get mended and can get back into society. At the same time, we've taken in a good section of our hospital, 12 beds of the hospital, and it's a 42-bed freestanding facility dedicated just to physical rehabilitation, nothing else. And uh, the 12 bed unit is for traumatic brain injury and concussions. Ah. There's a million seven hundred thousand of those happening a year in the United States. The NFL has brought it to the forefront with all the problems they have there and Steve has been working with us on that front because it, we, we're not, we know we're not going to fill up with NFL employees. but. But we do know that we will have a very successful program to, to take care of all the people that have So let me ask you this, who, who's your ideal client? Is it like a guy that wrecked his, his knee? Is it a shoulder? Is it any? Like... About 40% of our, our patients for traumatic brain injury will be elderly people who fall. Mm -hmm. that's, the big, that's the big problem. And, and then it's going to come from accidents. It's going to come from the wounded warrior programs. It's going to come from the NFL, the high schools, the colleges, and all that. So we, we have a, an audience now. What's happening in Fargo now is that people with traumatic brain injury typically are going outside the community for care. They're going to Denver, Colorado, Omaha, Nebraska, Huntsville, I mean, Huntsville, Minneapolis, St. Paul, or even as far away as Atlanta because we could track those. So we, our job now is to keep everybody here clo close to their home and their loved ones. So it's all neurologically based, and obviously then we've got this encephalitis issue going on with the NFL, and mm -hmm. uh, what, what's your role in that situation? Uh, Richard touched on it. If you look at um, an NFL career, I've had 17 different surgeries that have needed rehabilitation. You were the same way. An athlete knows what they need to do to get back. And once you've gone through the surgical suite and you're now, you recover, now you've got your rehabilitation. The wide range of injuries, which most people think about rehabilitation to the elderly. I mean, the NFL, the guys that I played with, we want to get back in the game. We want to stay in the game. And so these types of rehabilitation centers are performance-based. Mm -hmm. You come in, you've got goals. You've got, I mean, you're going to get better, just like we did in the offseason, to come back and play in the game again. Now, we will never play in the game again, but at least we will know when we're whole again. Yeah. So I want to just be a, almost a, an awareness um, individual. I, I, I tell Richard that I'm, everything he says he can do in his rehabilitation hospital, I need that. Yeah. So I'll be the number one patient here in Fargo, and I'll be the greeter. That's awesome. Where? <laughs> and he Come was, over and say hello. He was our loudest clapper for our live audience, too. <laughs> okay, we'll have more on this coming up in just a quick second.